I'm sure we've all seen plenty of water bottles on the ground before, but I bet no one else here has ever had that experience lead to something quite so horrific. It was a typical summer day, and I was walking through the park, enjoying the sunshine and the fresh air. As I strolled along the path, I noticed a bright blue water bottle lying on the ground, half hidden in the grass. It seemed out of place, so I bent down to pick it up, thinking I could just throw it away in a nearby trash can. However, as soon as my fingers touched the bottle, a strange sensation washed over me. It was as if the bottle was pulsating with energy, and a cold chill ran down my spine. I tried to let go, but it was too late. The bottle had latched onto my hand, and no matter how hard I pulled, I couldn't free myself. Panic set in as I realized that the bottle was not just an ordinary piece of plastic. It was alive, and it had a mind of its own. I watched in horror as the bottle began to change shape, growing and twisting in my grip. It elongated and sharpened, transforming into a grotesque, elongated creature with razor-sharp teeth and a gaping maw. I screamed as the creature lunged at me, but there was nowhere to run. The creature's mouth clamped down on my arm, and I felt a searing pain as its teeth sank into my flesh. I could feel the creature draining the life from me, and I knew that I was doomed. As the creature finished its meal, it released me, and I collapsed to the ground, gasping for breath. The creature, now satiated, slithered away into the grass, leaving me to wonder if anyone would ever believe my story. But I knew that I would never forget that day, and the horror that came from picking up a simple water bottle. It was just another night at the water bottle filling plant, or so I thought. As the only one on the graveyard shift, the silence of the plant was deafening. My job was simple, make sure the machines were running smoothly and the water bottles were filled and sealed properly, but tonight, something felt different. I couldn't shake off the feeling that I was being watched. Every creak of the machinery, every shadow in the corner of my eye, made my heart race. I tried my best to focus on my work, but the sense of unease only grew stronger. It was around 2am when I finally heard it. The sound of footsteps, coming from the far end of the plant. My first thought was that it was just the machine settling, but the footsteps were too deliberate, too human. I grabbed a flashlight and cautiously made my way towards the sound. As I rounded the corner, I froze. Standing there, in the dim light of the emergency exit sign, was a figure. It was transparent, almost ethereal, and it was staring right at me. I couldn't make out any features, but I knew it was a ghost. I stumbled back, my heart pounding in my chest. The ghost didn't move, and it didn't speak. Instead, it just stood there, watching me. I tried to call out, to ask who it was, but my voice caught in my throat. Then all of a sudden, the machines roared to life. The conveyor belt started moving, and the bottling machines began to fill the water bottles. I watched in horror as the ghost moved towards the machines, its hands reaching out to touch the bottles. I tried to run, to get away from the plant but it was as if my feet were glued to the ground. I could only watch as the ghost filled the bottles with something unnatural. The water turned a sickly green, and the bottles began to shake and rattle on the conveyor belt. Now I don't know how long I stood there frozen in fear, but when the machines finally stopped, the ghost was gone. I ran to the control room and shut everything down, my hands shaking as I did so. I never went back to that water bottle filling plant. I quit my job the next day. I also never told anyone what happened that night. But now, sometimes, when I'm alone at night, I can still hear the sound of those machines and the sound of the ghost's footsteps. A few years ago, I volunteered to help clean up the local park, a place I'd always enjoyed visiting as a child. That day was a beautiful day, and I was happy to do my part to keep the park clean and beautiful. As I walked along the trail, picking up bits of trash and debris, I came across a water bottle lying in the grass. For some reason, it looked out of place, and as I bent down to pick it up, I thought I could throw it away in the nearby trash can. However, as soon as my fingers touched the bottle, a strange sensation washed over me. It was as if the water bottle was pulsing with energy, and a cold chill ran down my spine. I tried to let go, but it was too late. The bottle had latched onto my hand, no matter how hard I pulled, I couldn't free myself. Panic set in as I realized that the bottle was not just an ordinary piece of plastic. It was alive, and it had a mind of its own. I watched in horror as the bottle began to change shape, 
growing and twisting in my grip. It elongated and sharpened, and eventually had razor-sharp teeth and a gaping maw. I screamed as the creature lunged at me, but there was nowhere to run. The creature's mouth clamped down on my arm, and I felt a pain as it sank its teeth into my flesh. I could feel the creature draining the life from me, and at that moment I knew I was doomed. As the creature finished its meal, it released me, and I collapsed to the ground, gasping for breath. The creature appeared to slither into the grass, just leaving me to wonder if anyone would ever believe my story. Anyway, apart from the bite, I didn't feel too bad, but as the sun began to set, I felt a strange sensation coursing through my veins. My body began to change, rowing and twisting in ways I never thought possible. I tried to scream, but all that came out was a guttural howl. I realized with horror that the creature had turned me into a werewolf, cursed to roam the night, forever searching for my next victim. I stumbled through the park, my mind filled with fear and confusion. I didn't know how to control my new form, or what to do with the newfound power coursing through my veins. All I knew was that I was no longer the same person I was before. I was a monster, cursed to live out the rest of my days in darkness and fear. I still remember. I was out for my usual morning jog when I stumbled upon a strange sight. There, lying in the grass, was a beautiful ornate water bottle. It was unlike anything I had ever seen before, with intricate designs etched into the glass. I couldn't resist picking it up, and as soon as my fingers touched the bottle, a strange sensation washed over me. The bottle began to shake and rattle, and before I knew it, a cloud of smoke erupted from the opening. When the smoke cleared, I was face to face with a genie. He was tall and imposing, with dark skin and piercing eyes. He introduced himself as a here and told me that he was bound to the bottle and that he could grant me three wishes. I was skeptical at first, but Zahir assured me that he was telling the truth. I thought long and hard about what I wanted, and finally decided on my first wish. I wished for a successful career, one that would make me happy and fulfilled. Zahir nodded and snapped his fingers, and just like that, my wish was granted. At first, everything seemed perfect. I landed my dream job, and my career really took off. But soon, things started to take a darker turn. I found myself working longer and longer hours, sacrificing my personal life for my job. I was constantly stressed and exhausted, and I realized that I had become a slave to my own success. I tried to go back to Zahir, to ask him to undo my wish, but he was nowhere to be found. I searched high and low for the water bottle, but it was as if it had vanished into thin air. I was trapped in a life that I had wished for, but that was slowly destroying me. I don't know how long I lived like that, but it felt like an eternity. I was miserable, and I knew that I had made a terrible mistake. I had been blinded by my own ambition, and now I was paying the price. Finally, one day, I found the water bottle again. It was lying in the grass, just as it had been when I first found it. I picked it up, and as soon as my fingers touched the bottle, Zahir appeared. He looked at me with pity in his eyes, and I knew that he understood what I had been through. I told him that I wanted to undo my wish, and go back to the way things were before. Sahir nodded, and with a snap of his fingers, my wish was undone. I felt a weight lift off my shoulders, and I knew that I was finally free. However, I never forgot the lesson I learned that day. Be careful what you wish for, because sometimes, the price is just too high to pay.